Hello everyone, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to create this effect. Um, this is something that HeartK came up with on the Voron Discord, and he uses a slightly different approach than I do, but uh, he 3D prints the red mesh as infill only on his 3D printer, and then super glues it to the back of his normal Voron skirts. In this case though, I'm going to do a slightly different approach, and I'm going to create two bodies in one uh, model, and then print it all at once with a Tridex, Voron Trident IDEX printer. You can also do this probably with a filament color change and just print the first few layers, add a pause macro to your printer, and then resume printing with the black filament on top. But today I'm not gonna show that process because I'm not as familiar with it. To start with, I'm taking the Voron Trident CAD. I just downloaded it from GitHub. Um, I'm going to start with an easy skirt um, there's a few different ones that will be more difficult or less difficult depending on kind of the components. Uh, for instance, this skirt here is really easy and we'll start with that because there's no other colors or other accent pieces. We can just modify it quickly. But these front pieces have this accent uh, part that sticks in the back and that makes it a little bit more difficult. So let's just start with this piece. I'm just going to actually um, take this side skirt A and I'm going to save a copy. So now that we have this part, let's go ahead and make sure that we are picking the right size for our printer. In this case, uh, my printer is 250 millimeters front to back. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna hit this little activate component. Um, and as well, I'm going to go ahead and capture design history because then it's a little easier to edit stuff. It's great to turn that on for a small model like this that you know, you know won't have any issues. I'm also going to hit isolate here, so we're just modifying the parts within this structure. And the first step is to get rid of all of these chamfers. And there's a variety of ways of doing it, including going around and hitting delete with each of the segments, but that takes a lot of time. So what I like to do is select this back surface, construct an offset plane, select that plane, and then create a sketch. And just make sure that this sketch is around the entire perimeter and then just hit finish. And now I'm gonna hit extrude on this and I wanna remove um, 0.6 millimeters of material because we're gonna end up having three layers of this uh, mesh surface in the back. So we had an offset of one and then we wanna remove 0.6, which is enough to also remove the 0.4 chamfer. So I'm just gonna say negative 1.6 and you can see um, that is cutting some material away. So I'm going to hit OK. Now we have a nice flat surface here. There's no more chamfers anywhere. So we can work with that. And next we want to create just a very basic single uh, extrusion across the entire surface of this. So I'm going to again create another sketch. I'm not going to do any modifications or anything like this because this sketch gives me everything I need. I'm going to hit finish. And now I'm going to click all of these cells. I'm going to hit extrude um, 0.6. And over here, instead of doing join, I'm going to do new body. And then OK. And in this case, if you want to make it pop a little bit, um, you can hit A for accent and then go to whatever appearances you have. I have this matte plastic red color I like to select a lot. And you can see here that. Um, that's kind of what it looks like, um, except this back piece, instead of being solid, we're going to use some slicer settings to make it look, um, you know, just have infill only. The other nice thing is in this section, um, I'm going to say side skirt A250, and I'm going to say um, accent X2, just to make sure that, you know, I can keep track of these files. The other thing to note is that you want both of these bodies to be within the same component when we're about to do this next step, because if they're not, then they're going to be in separate reference planes. And then when we import them into the slicer, they're not going to all line up naturally. So next, we're just going to go right click, save as mesh, hit OK. And that's done. So let's jump over to the slicer next and get all the settings appropriately done. So for this guide, I'm going to use Prusa Slicer set up with my Voron Trident 
IDEX setup. So we have two different extruders here um, and then my print settings. So I'm gonna import those two STLs and the important part is to import them at the same time. This is because when we hit open, if we have a multi um, extruder printer setup, it'll ask us if we wanna use a multi-part object. And in this case, it's really important to say yes. And this is where having both bodies in the same component in CAD is really important because now both of these bodies are aligned to the same internal um, origin and so they line up nicely without any issues. You'll note we have a single object but two components and that's really cool because now we can change parameters for one component versus the other. The first thing though is we want to print this flat like this and just because I want to be a little bit picky I'm going to rotate it around here um, to be straight up and down. And you'll note uh, my colors are inverted here based on how I've set my printer. So I'm gonna swap those around here with the drop downs. Now we can hit slice. And you'll see this matches exactly what our fusion model looked like. We have that solid red background and the black uh, perimeter. However, we want that mesh pattern to allow airflow, which is again what HeartK did. Um, and to do that, we can do a quick slicer modification on this object. So we'll click, click the little gear icon, hit infill, and then also layers and perimeters. And in this case, we wanna change the fill density from 40 to 20%. We wanna change the grid to honeycomb. And then I use zero top, zero bottom, and two perimeters in order to get the effect that you see in the photos. However, one thing might bother you, and that is the hexagon pattern here is not oriented to align with these top hexagons. And that's a very simple fix. We can go ahead to print settings, click on infill, fill, and then this fill angle here is the critical parameter. So in this case, 45 degrees plus a hexagon will never end up you know, perfectly oriented. So let's, there's two different values it could be. It could be 90 degrees or zero degrees, depending on how this part is oriented. So let's try this. And in this case, 90 degrees was the correct value. We have the points top and bottom, but in case that didn't work and the points are side to side, you can always go back and change this fill angle to zero. And now notice the points are side to side. So I personally like the hexagons to line up. So I'm gonna change it back to 90 and slice one more time. And that looks great. Um, and you'll see if we scroll down through we do one, two, three layers of this hexagon pattern, and then it switches extruders to the black extruder and prints the rest of the part as normal. The one part here you'll, you will note is that this first layer is printing on you know, air, so there's gonna be some bridging. Depending on your printer and your settings, there may be a little bit of issues there, but I haven't had issues up until now. So um, with this, you can, of course, export this to your printer, print it. If you have an IDEX printer, it's really easy. But let me show you one quick more step. If you just want to print the mesh background and then super glue it to the back, the process is very similar. We're just going to delete this file. We're going to ask for only the accent part. We're going to um, you know, put it back on the build surface, um, orient it. And then here, if we slice it, of course, um, it is going to be, you know, the wrong color and it's, you know, completely solid. So we want to do the same changes. Um, and in this case, we can do the same edits or um, we can go to print settings, infill 20%, fill pattern hexagon or honeycomb, sorry. And then layers and perimeters, we want zero, or we want two perimeters, zero top and zero bottom. Then hit slice. And there's that piece. You can just quickly print it. It's only a six minute print in this case, or maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your printer. And then you can just super glue it to the back without any issues. And with that, this tutorial is done. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I really love this mod by HeartK and it's great being able to print it all in one piece with the Tridec. So I'm really excited about it, um, and I'm updating all of my printers to match this. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks.